Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's makeup look is going to be this purple and gold glamorous look. If you guys want to see how to achieve this makeup look then please just keep on watching. So the first step is going to be priming my eyes. As always, I'm using my Soft Ochre Paint Pot from MAC. This is just going to clear all of the pigmentation and just make it a really nice, fresh, blank new canvas to work on. And I'm just going to be applying this all over with my finger from my brow bone all the way to my lid. Then I am taking a Morphe palette and taking this purple colour. I'm going to begin to apply this into the crease as our first transition shade. This kind of comes onto the lid as more of a purpley pink, so when we apply the deeper purple, this is just going to help blend out that deeper purple. So I'm just using a really fluffy brush to make sure this looks really nice and buffed out. Then I'm taking Sugar Pills Poison Plum, which is probably the most pigmented purple I own. I'm just using a thicker blending brush and just applying this into the crease and going back and forth just to make sure that it is really well blended. I'm also going back into that other brush that we first used to apply the pink, just because I want to make sure that everything is really well blended. Go back into that purple as many times as you need to to make sure it's as pigmented as possible. Then I'm just going to be cleaning up the sides of my eye before we apply our black eyeshadow. This is Corrupt from Makeup Geek and I'm just going to be using a pencil brush to apply this into my outer V. This is just going to add a little bit of depth and smokiness and it's just going to make the whole look kind of come together. And I'm just using that brush that we used to apply the purple to make sure that this black is really well blended. Again, go back into that black as many times as you need to, to ensure that it is as pigmented as possible. Next, I'm going to be taking Magic Act, which is also a Makeup Geek eyeshadow. This is one of their foiled eyeshadows, and I'm taking a synthetic brush and just using this to apply it all over my lid. I'm almost creating sort of a cut crease effect, because I don't want this to be a really buffed outline. I want it to reach our crease and then stop, so I want it to be fairly harsh, and you just want to make sure that it's quite pigmented and it covers the whole lid. Then I'm taking Makeup Geek's Shimmer Shimmer and just applying this as our inner corner highlight with that same brush. Next, I'm going to be taking some gel eyeliner and a small eyeliner brush, and I'm just going to begin to kind of line my eyes a little bit. I'm actually not going to be winging this out, but I am going to just sort of take it out so that it blends into that black a little bit. And I'm going to try and make sure that this wing is as thin as possible because I wanted this look to be more about the eyeshadow than a really thick wing of eyeliner. But the eyeliner is going to help to lift up our eyes as well. I'm also going to be creating a tiny little feline flick on the inner corner just to drag our eyes downwards a little bit and to give us that really nice feline effect. Then I'm applying my mascara and I'm going to be applying some false lashes. I'm using the Red Cherry 47 lashes. Next I'm going to be getting started on my skin and I'm using the Makeup Forever Step 1 Smoothing Primer and I'm just going to be applying this all over the areas that need some smoothing and this is the best primer to smooth out my skin. I have really been loving this and I'm just applying this all over with my hands. And then I'm taking some of the Laura Mercier Silk Cream Foundation and this is in the colour Sand Beige and I'm just applying this all over my skin and I'm going to be blending this in with the Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge. Once that's all blended in, we're going to be applying some concealer to our under eyes and also the areas that we want to highlight. I have done my forehead, my chin and the bridge of my nose, just because these are the areas that I want to bring forward. I'm going to be blending that into the rest of my complexion using the same Miracle Complexion sponge from Real Techniques. And then as always, to get into the tiny little areas that my sponge cannot reach, I'm using my Sigma 3D HD Precision Brush, and I'm just using that to blend in the concealer. I'm just going to be using this kick-ass powder from Soap & Glory to set my under eyes and also the other areas where I applied that concealer. Thank you. 
Next, I'm just going to be applying some concealer underneath my brows and I'm going to be filling them in. I'm using the MAC Waterproof Brow Set in Quiet Brunette and then I'm also going to be using the MAC Lingering Pencil. To finish off the eyes, I'm going to apply some of that same gel liner we applied on the top lash line and apply that to our waterline. And I'm also going to drag a very small amount of it on the outer corner of our eye, just underneath the lash line. And then I am taking some more of that Sugar Pill Poison Plum eyeshadow and just applying that to the bottom lash line just to kind of balance the top and the bottom lid so that they look like they're all connecting and it just pulls the look together. Then I'm applying some mascara to my bottom lashes and the look is complete. To give my skin some colour, I'm using the Mineralize Skin Finish from MAC in the colour Dark Golden. I'm just using this all over the outer perimeter of my face just to give myself a little bit more of that bronzed effect. And then I am taking the Balms Bahama Mama Bronzer to contour. And then I'm taking this Kiko eyeshadow in number 3 and just using this to highlight. I did wet my brush beforehand to give us that really nice intense highlight. And I'm just applying that onto my cheekbones and also the tip of my nose. I also contoured my nose a little bit as well. And then to finish off for the lips, I am using Saw Lip Liner from MAC and I'm just using this to go all along the outside of my lips. This will just create a really nice full lip line because Saw is a really great colour to make your lips look a lot fuller. And then I'm also going to be taking Berry Smoothie Lipstick from Gerard Cosmetics and applying this all over. This is basically the colour of Saw in a lipstick, so this is a really, really nice colour. And I'm also going to be going over with Buttercup Lipstick, also from Gerard Cosmetics, and just using this to lighten up my lips a little bit, just because I felt like it was a little bit too dark. And that is the finished look guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video, don't forget to check the description box for any information and just lots of good stuff, all of the products I used will be down there. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and give this video a thumbs up, I can't wait to see you guys in my next video and I will talk to you later, bye guys!